Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and this is an introduction video to a little project that I've been working on for the last few weeks, and it's now ready to get released. Uh, the project I've been working on is a software pack uh, that can be used as a DVD-ROM to install all kinds of software. Uh, it's all free software. Uh, I have permission to distribute this software, and the idea behind it is that once you have a recent version of Windows, either XP or Vista or Windows 7 installed on your computer. Uh, you can use this software pack to install basically all the other software that you need. You, you, should not, you shouldn't have to buy any kind of software because there's a freeware uh, version of that software included in this pack. You can download this software pack from johnnyfartypants.com Free stuff software packs and this is it here free software pack 1 uh, I'm actually planning to release one of these software packs every 6 months or so you just click on that link there and that will take you to this page here uh, this is just a little introduction explaining that there's nothing dodgy or illegal about this software pack uh, all of the software included in it is actually either open source software which can be freely distributed or it's freeware software uh, but not open source in which case I've actually been contacting software companies to request permission and I have now got permission to distribute everything that's included in these packs here's the download links uh, you've got a torrent download link here and I've got a single download link from uploading.com it's 396 megabytes, so you might not want to download that in one go. Uh, you've got multiple links here, uh, three separate links for uploading.com uh, and three for EasyShare. Uh, these links here are actually interchangeable. You can download part one from uploading.com and part two from EasyShare and part three from uploading.com as long as you have all three parts. Uh, of this downloaded before you try to unwrap it, it will create the larger file. Uh, this is a list here of all the applications that's included in it. Uh, a security heading here, uh, you've got an antivirus, a firewall and some other security stuff. You've got a bunch of media stuff here, uh, you've got a bunch, of, a bunch of design software here and you've got a bunch of software utilities here. And when you download this software pack, this is what you're going to get, a folder called Software Pack 1. Inside the folder, you're going to have these five files here. Uh, this little readme document here isn't really that important. Uh, it's just a little brief instructions on how to use this. But if you're watching this video, then you'll obviously know how to use this. So we can actually delete that and you'll have these four files. Now the way this works is fairly simple. This is all the files that you'll need here to create a CD or DVD ROM. Uh, what you would do is burn all of these four files in here onto a disk and it'll actually create a CD or DVD ROM uh, that will play automatically as soon as you put it on your disk drive. But if you don't want to do that, if you just want to keep it on your computer or, or maybe drag that folder on a USB flash drive, all you have to do is click, double click this little icon here, the autorun.exe, to start it up. And when you click this little autorun.exe icon, this is what you get. You get the, the main page to the software pack. Uh, you've got five buttons here, security, media, design, maintenance and utilities. This is for the different types of software and you've also got a button down here uh, about. If you were to click that, that would open up an HTML document uh, in your web browser explaining uh, a little bit about this software pack, uh, why I created it, uh, reassuring you that there's nothing illegal or dodgy about it, that I actually have permission from all of these software companies to distribute their stuff. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll briefly show you how this software pack works. Uh, if you if you click the security button, 
uh, it'll give you an option of four different applications here Outpost Firewall, uh, Lavasoft Adaware, Descriptor Free Edition and a Vast Home Edition uh, You've got an antivirus, a firewall, an anti-malware scanner and a file encryption uh, program and if you're interested in installing any of these programs for instance Outpost Firewall here you would just click on that and it would come to a page uh, like this uh, you've got a screenshot of the software you've got an option to install it uh, you can click the about button and it'll open up another HTML document uh, telling you a little bit about it or you can click here to visit the website of the software manufacturer uh, where you can read more about it there or download it there uh, all of the, the pages within this software pack are all pretty similar they all have a screenshot an install button an about button and a visit website button and they'll all have uh, this information here telling you exactly what version of Windows this runs on uh, what version of software this is and who owns the copyright to it so that's the security four applications here uh, if you go into media you've got six applications DVD, Free Studio, VLC, Media Player, Radio Sure, Audacity, Mix, Cam Studio uh, DVD Free Studio actually installs 20 separate applications uh, YouTube downloaders and DVD rippers and media converters all this kind of stuff uh, it's a very handy very cool uh, little freeware application and that's one that I would definitely recommend to anybody uh, design you've got GIMP uh, that's a, an image editing software very similar to Adobe Photoshop You've got Inkscape here, eh, which is a, a an illustrating program, very similar to Adobe Illustrator. You've got Blender, which is a very cool 3D modeling software. And you've got Instant Storm, which is eh, a software for creating screensavers. The next heading we've got here, eh, you've got Maintenance, which is, yeah, within that you've got Tweak Now Power Pack, eh, which is a a group of separate applications for fine-tuning your computer, uh, fixing registry problems and this kind of stuff. You've got Driver Magician Lite uh, for backing up all your drivers. You've got Defraggler which is a, a free and quite powerful defragging program. You've got Recover uh, which helps you recover files that you might have accidentally deleted. And you've got CCleaner also known as Crap Cleaner uh, that helps you delete all the the nonsense and rubbish files, useless files that, you, that all computers collect up over time. Uh, you just install that, give it a run maybe once a week and it finds all these crap files and de deletes them for you. It's quite handy. Uh, utilities, you've got pzip here. Uh, it's quite a powerful and, and free uh, zip utility program. It recognises pretty much every type of zip archive out there, zips and rars and 7zs and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so if you install that, your computer will recognise all of these files and know what to do with them. Rocket Dock is a, a desktop utility. It helps you create pretty cool little shortcuts on your desktop. Open Office, this is a really good application. Uh, this is a, a freeware and open source alternative to Microsoft Office. Uh, it contains pretty much everything that Microsoft Office contains, uh, word processing documents and stuff like this, and also an awful lot of stuff that Microsoft Office doesn't have, PDF creating software and stuff like that. That's a really good and completely free application. And last but not least is Mozilla Thunderbird. And last but not least is Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, it's a very powerful and very secure email client uh, from the guys that made Mozilla Firefox. Easily the best internet browser out there. And that's basically it. Uh, you've got five headings here. Uh, all different types of software. And the idea is that once you've installed uh, a recent version of Windows, either XP or Vista or 7, uh, Windows 7, uh, once you've got this software pack you've got everything else you need, uh, all your security software, all your media software, any design software that you need, any maintenance software that you need, uh, all types of utilities and all of it is completely free. Uh, I've compiled it, I've created it 
and now I'm distributing it for free.